It was you? You slept with Doc Reese? That was... That was your compact in the car. That's... That's why it looked familiar. And of course, I thought... And, and you called Doc when I was with him that night. That... That was you. Please stop, Tom. And you arranged... You arranged to meet with him while I was there. No, it's not what you think, okay? I wanted him to back off of Margo. I, I wanted him not to say anything about... I was trying to save your marriage and mine. But you had already slept with him at that point. You were having an affair. No, it was not an affair, Tom. It was once, one hideous mistake, and I'd give anything to take it all back. Just, just why? You and Ben, you're newlyweds. I mean, you're starting a family. I know. Then, then how? Are you, are you bored already? No! I love Ben with all my heart. And what is it? How could you do something this destructive? I, I don't, I don't know. I have asked myself that a hundred times a day. I've been making myself crazy, but the thing is, there just is no explanation, Tom. There's no excuse. It happened. What is it about Doc Reese? It's not about Doc. No? You and Margot both put your marriages on the line for no reason? Margot didn't. She did not sleep with Doc. She was his lover in every other way, Tom, and you know it. I know you feel betrayed, I know, but it does not have to end your marriage. If I were you, I'd be worried about my own marriage. I am. So how is Ben gonna handle this? I don't see what good it would do to tell him. You think you can keep this a secret? Do you want to break Ben's heart? Because I don't. Too late. Tom, it was one hideous mistake. It will never happen again. I wouldn't count on that. Tom! Don't worry. I'm not going to be the one that says anything to Ben. This is your mess. You clean it up. And what about Margo? Are you going to give her another chance? I think you should be focusing on your chances, which at the moment don't look very good. Well, at least I'm fighting to keep what I love. Oh, I see. So what Ben doesn't know doesn't hurt him? Well, you're right about that, Jess. It's not gonna hurt him. It's gonna destroy him. Margo. Are you at the bridge? No, no. Um, I'm holding down the fort here. Hal asked me to uh, return his phone calls, and I, I saw that there was a message from you. Uh, there's news, isn't there? Yeah, you heard about the body this morning? What? No, no I, I... I'm sorry. I thought that you were with Lily when... Uh, no, no. She, she's in Milltown. No, it's not Jack. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, it, it, it's Starziak. <sighs> they found Starziak's body. Well, that's, uh, that's good. So, uh, now we can concentrate uh, on... Hold it, there's more. We found part of Jack's shirt under the rocks by the bridge, and according to the medical examiner, if that's where he went in, it doesn't look good. Hold it. I'm here. I'll keep you posted. Thanks, Margaret. Hey, I heard courthouse was the body jacks no um but they found part of jack's shirt under the rocks and there was blood i'm really sorry i've just i've had my game face on all night and um you know i've just been um Sending out rescue crews and, and um, fielding phone calls and keeping everybody on track here. And we were just so sure. We were so sure we would have found him by now. But, you know, he'd be a little banged up. But he's tough as nails. 
Jack, he's, he's... He's Jack, he's... God, I can't believe this. How can this be happening to Jack and Carly now? They just got their lives back together and now this. Well, nothing makes sense anymore. We still talking about Jack and Carl? Everything. I just finished talking to Jessica. She told me about her and Doc Reese. What did she tell you? She told me that she slept with him and that you didn't. <sighs> so now do you believe me? I believed you every time. I know you didn't sleep with the guy. But that doesn't change anything. So was that news? That's one of the guys from the site, and uh, there's still no sign of Jack. So it's officially gone from rescue to recovery. Well, I'm sorry. I know Jack was... No, he is. Jack is. Because Hal may have changed the mission, but that doesn't mean we're going to stop. And we're not going to give up on him until we find his... him. figure out a time together and we can talk to him and make him understand. Make him understand what, Tom? You make this sound so permanent. I think a separation might be good for both of us right now. You don't know what's good for me? Clearly. I didn't mean that. I didn't. No, I, I didn't. I know. I'll speak to you tomorrow. No, there may not be a tomorrow, Tom. We've got to hold on to what we have now. Look at what, look what happened to Jack and Carly. We've got to hold on to what we have. I love you. I love you, too. But please, don't compare us to Carly and Jack. What happened to them was an accident you threw us. <laughs> 